<laughs> Antenna is a non-profit company working in Madurai, South India, to improve the quality of life of undernourished people. Their action started 15 years ago, when Antenna Technologies from Geneva, Switzerland, established a first spirulina farm. Spirulina is a microalga that can be grown all year round in tropical climates and features an exceptional content of nutrients, proteins, minerals and vitamins. The India is a poor country and our main diet is on rice preparations. Most of our food items are deficient in essential vitamins, nutrients, iron, antioxidants, etc. Today in India, 85 million children are in a denourished, malnourished situation. It's more than 42% of all the children in India. And this has to be a top priority, not only for governments, also for NGOs and whoever is interested in promoting human rights. Producing spirulina on a small scale is an approach of great hope to help combat malnutrition. Its potential in this field has even been recognized by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. It gives all the essential nutrients. For example, for an infant, one gram per day is quite sufficient. And for a school-going school children, five grams, uh, one teaspoon is quite sufficient for a daily requirement of proteins, uh, vitamins, trace elements, iron, etc. Producing spirulina is rather simple and can easily be taught. Antenna's goal is now to spread this technology and to make spirulina a key tool to eradicate malnutrition. The key lies in transmitting know-how and creating employment for rural women so they can grow and market spirulina by themselves. So far we have trained more than 50 to 60 such organizations. Most of them successfully produce and use the spirulina for their own objectives like malnutrition eradication and HIV supplementation and undernourished women supplementation. The various categories people get trained by us and use their produce for such social objectives. At Antenna in Madurai, research is ongoing to develop new and cost-effective production methods. For example, after harvesting, spirulina is dried in an advanced solar dryer and prepared as flakes for distribution. Spirulina products are then both distributed through social programs by NGOs and sold on the retail market. From a small level if we start and if we transfer this benefits to many small organizations, we can reach more and more children and we can develop a better country and better society. <laughs> <laughs>